Welcome to Pink Paper Peppermints. My name is Melissa and I am so glad you're here today. We are talking about prayer journaling today and I'm going to be flipping through my journal so far for the My Heart of Thanksgiving devotional event. And if you don't know what that is, there is a link in the description of this video that will tell you all about it and you can register for free and get a free starter kit so that you can join in with us. So in that kit, you will find four prompt cards and a calendar of events to tell you what's happening and when we're doing demos and everything you need to join us. So today, the first thing that I want to do is show you my week three prompt card. And I decided what I wanted to do is kind of have it open draw bridge style. And I wanted to make a shaker out of the door. So I went ahead and cut the center out of the door. And I'm going to use some plastic packaging and this glittery tool for my shaker parts. So you want to make sure that you leave enough room at the bottom of your window to attach your shaker to the back. If you do it too thinly, you won't have room to sew or glue your shaker to the back of your frame. So if you don't have a journal for My Heart of Thanksgiving, this is still something that you could do in your prayer journal. And you could even put little notes of prayers inside the shaker. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few minutes. So I'm adding some glitter. I've sewn my tool and my clear packaging to the back of the frame and I'm adding some glitter in and just deciding if I like the amount. I decide I want a little bit of contrast so I'm using some of these dark stars and putting those in and then I decide I need more and just keep shaking them in until I like the look of it. So now we're just going to trim the excess packaging and tool from around the edges and we'll be ready to attach it to our door. And the way I did that is the same way that I did last time, just wrap that tab around the back. If you wanna see that video, I will link it in the description below. So I'll show you how I finished that off here in just a little while, but I wanted to move to the next page and I'm gonna be talking about a verse in Revelation because as I was studying prayer for this particular part of the devotion, I came across this verse in Revelation that I've read before, but I just, for some reason, it just really touched my heart this time. And I'm not going to go into too much commentary because far be it for me to commentate on <laughs> Revelation of all books, but I want to read you the verse and it says, and when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And that is the part that really stood out to me. And that's what I'm doing with my page right now. I wanted it to look like the prayers of the saints. At first, I was going to have them at the bottom and the prayers dropping into a golden bowl. You can see I'm kind of working on that bowl right now. But then I decided I wanted it to be more like the prayers were starting off from the bottom and rising up to the Lord. And so I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. I decided to go ahead and paint the bowl shape gold and I'm going to add some glitter to it and make it very golden. So I wanted to mention also that the paper that I'm using is the printable washi tape that comes with the King's Daughter kit. And that is the kit that goes along with the devotional that we're doing. I'm sprinkling some glitter on and making our golden bowl even more golden. And I wanted to talk about a little bit about the prayers of the saints. You know, in 1 Timothy, it talks about how we are all loved by God and all called to be saints. And so there are are many places in the Bible that it talks about the saints and how we're to treat each other. But just thinking about the prayers of the saints being collected by the Lord in this bowl, it just gave me more of a reverence for prayer, more of an understanding how important it is. And I feel like we really won't understand how important it is until we get to heaven and we talk to the Lord about it. So I'm just attaching my bowl here, and this is about when I'm realizing that I want to put the bowl at the top instead of at the bottom. I also decided that I really wanted to use a brown background to contrast that gold better than the silver or gray background that I had before. So I'm replacing that, and then I'm going to start adding 
my prayers. Each one of these circles was to represent prayers. And so I wanted to start off at the bottom very small with little tiny circles and have the circles get bigger and bigger. And I have a die that cut um, small, medium, and large circles. But then I also went in with a little small half inch punch and then even a hole punch to make some more tiny circles to go right at the bottom. And I just wanted that to represent how to us our prayers seem so small, but as they come up to the Lord, they become so much more important and so much bigger. And I'm going to be adding some prayer phrases, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about those here in just a minute. I just wanted to mention that this is one of the ways when you don't have words to pray that can help you get your prayers out. And sometimes that's what I do. I sit down with my journal and I just start trying to represent a verse in paper, if that makes sense. And when I do that, I feel like it helps me to sort of calm down and to think and to hear the Lord and to just meditate on his word. And so creating something like this and representing a verse that you've read is one of the really good ways to journal your prayers, especially if you are wanting to pray the word because you can take verses and create something with them on a page and make that your prayer with the word of God. So what I've done now is sew my circles to the page and I'm just wanting to rough up the edges. I don't want them to be laying really flat on the page. I want this page to be a little grungier than usual because I want it to feel like these prayers have been through a lot on their way up. So now it's time to add the prayers and I am using these faith phrases. This is a brand new product that is actually debuting in the shop today and I will link it in the description below. There's over 200 phrases. There are prayer phrases, praise phrases, and then speak phrases. These kind of go along with our devotional. And each one of the phrases is taken directly from a Bible verse. So you're really just working with the word when you're using these phrases. And you can use the prayer ones to create a prayer, the praise ones to create some praise, which we're going to do in another project here in just a minute. And then the speak ones are kind of like using the word as your sword, which we've been talking about in this devotional. So you can see here I've got some of my phrases attached to the little prayer bubbles and I've put my bowl on the top circle and I'm just testing out these phrases. I wanted to fill up the, the golden bowl with prayers and I wanted to grunge them up a little bit more so I'm using that Sharpie China marker to do that and just kind of go around the edges. And then I wanted to include my verse from Revelation and so I'm taking these index cards that were actually a demo prize in one of our live chats. If you didn't get that prize, those are in a bundle in the shop now if you like these. And what I wanna do is create kind of a little accordion fold that I can then tuck behind the page and add my verse to that. And so when I type a verse on a card, I type it on a piece of tissue paper like this so that I can test the placement because I've ruined a lot of <laughs> cards before. And they're not ruined because of course you can print them again, but it's just more time effective if I do it on tissue paper first and make sure that the placement is where I want it. So I'm playing with it there and decide that I like that and then I'm going to type that on that card which I've done here. I put the word worthy on the tab at the top. That's going to be the tab that's peeking up from behind the page and I realized after I did this that I should have made the brown card the one that peeks up from behind the page I think that would have looked a little better but I didn't think of that so I think it looks good like it is though so I've glued the three cards together I just glued the tabs to the back of the card in front of it and folded it into an accordion fold and I'm going to tuck it behind that page but before I do I had one last little final touch that I wanted to do and that is I've watered down some gold metallic paint and I'm just kind of sprinkling it on the background so just to give it a little added gold to the page. 
So I'll show you the rest of that project when we're finished with this one. And I'm really excited about this one. It is a little praise booklet. And I'm using this page because it's a dictionary page with the word prayer at the top. And it matches the colors of the kit, but it's actually from the Think About These Things kit. But you can see that the colors of this match pretty well. So I'm going to use it because I really like it. And I love the way it already has a lot of gesso and stuff on it, so you don't have to do a lot to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is fold an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper in half. You want it to be double-sided. And then we're just gonna cut that in half. And now we actually have two pieces that can become two booklets. Now this is a piece of white paper. I just wanted you to see what it looked like without the pattern on it. You do not have to measure this. This one I didn't measure at all. I just folded it, but it's approximately two and a half inches for the front cover and the back cover. And then each one of those little accordion folds are one inch. So I'm using a friction heat erasable pen to make my marks on my book. And I'm gonna score those so that I can get a nice crisp fold. But like I said, if you didn't wanna do that, you could really quickly do this just with a piece of paper and it comes out beautiful even if it's not exactly by the measurements. So I'm just folding this into an accordion fold now and I wanted to type on the front there where it says prayer, that's gonna be my cover. So you can see that I typed the word praise there and praise on my cover. And these are the praise phrases. I, I printed them on pink and also several different colors because I wasn't sure which ones that I wanted to use. And so I'll be using that throughout my little prayer and praise booklet here and I'm just going through some of these pieces and just deciding what I want this is a great way also to just focus on the Lord and have a little praise and worship time as you put these pages together and then you've got this booklet that you can go through and remind yourself of all the amazing attributes of the Lord so I'm playing with this journal card with the castle window which happens to be mine and most of my team's favorite card and I'm just going to cut the edge off so it fits in the book cover remember our cover is only two and a half inches wide and I've got this vintage book paper that I've embossed I'm kind of playing with the scraps from our prayer circle and just seeing if one of those circles will look good and I pick this one out and I'm going to create like a mini booklet within a booklet here so that I have a spine that I can then sew this into my accordion album and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that a little later particularly for that one I think that I use the sewing machine but I've got some other things to show you too this is an embossed manila tag and I wanted to show you the reinforcer on this I cut with some new dies that I got I'm just in love with these they're tabs all different size tabs and reinforcers and I have been using them so much they're all different sizes they have little tiny tabs and large tabs and I don't know if you have heard of prayer Bibles or not, if you've seen any of the videos, but I, I bought this because I'm putting together a prayer Bible and I'm super excited about it. It is so fun. And I will link the lady that started that below and I'll also link those dies below. But if you're interested, if you would like to see my setup for my prayer Bible, just leave me a comment. It's not kind of what I usually do on this channel, but if it's something that you would like, um, I would love to show it to you. So I'm putting this little card in the center of my manila tag trying to decide if I want that to be a signature and I'm going to play with that a little bit more later and then I've got these little pieces of paper and the same thing I'm just kind of looking to see where um, I want to put them in the accordion and if they're too long or how I'm going to place them in and you'll see more what I'm talking about as we go because I'm going to put some of the signatures on the peaks of those accordions instead of in the valleys of the accordions. So I wanted to ink up this tag. I'm using Dilution Shimmer Spray, which is one of my favorites, and I will link my source for that in the description. I have a lady that I get it from, and she's got great prices and really good shipping. And I love this stuff. It is so pretty and shimmery. Now I'm gonna add this white color. It's kind of a pearlescent and I like to mix this with the different colors and it just gives it more shimmer. Then I take my spray bottle and I just spray it and let it kind of spread into the embossed crevices and creases and then dry it with my heat gun and you get this beautiful, beautiful background. So next I wanna show you how I'm going to bind in this little mini signature. Instead of doing it in the valley like you would normally do in the valley fold of the accordion, I'm actually going to attach it to the peak 
of the accordion fold. And I'm gonna flip it over to punch my holes because it'll be a little easier to do it in the valley portion of that. But then we're gonna sew it on the other side. So I'm gonna do a little mini pamphlet stitch and I just need three holes to do that. I'm going to do one in the middle and one on either side. And you'll see that I don't really measure for this. You can, this part doesn't really, I don't mind if it's a little off center. Um, so then I'm gonna flip it back over and now I've got those three holes on that peak and I just need to match them up with the three holes. And one of the things I do is just kind of put my needle punch tool through the center and then through the other piece and kind of line them up that way. Now I've got this variegated uh, embroidery floss and I will link that in the description below. And I'm gonna use that to bind it with. And I'm gonna show you first not on the book so you can kind of see it, but you're just gonna go in through the middle, leave yourself a little tail, turn it over, go up through the top, pull through, then turn it back over and you're gonna cross over that middle, hold the tail with your thumb, cross over the middle, put your needle through that other hole, pull through, and now we're gonna flip it over one more time and go back into that middle hole. And we're gonna pull that up and cut and tie. So we're not gonna actually tie this one, we're gonna take it out and we're going to bind it onto that peak of our accordion pamphlet. So I'm just gonna poke the needle right through that center hole just like we did before, leaving myself a tail. Then I'm gonna go to the other side and pull through, skip that middle hole and go to the top and pull through, and then go on the back and go back through the middle hole. And that's it, we're just gonna tie that in the center. And now we have a little mini three hole pamphlet stitch and we have our insert right on the peak of that accordion fold, which I love. So I wanted to show you that I'm doing this back piece. I wanted it to match the front piece. So I've cut out the window and I added a little cross, which I cut from one of the books in the ephemera kit. And then I'm gonna put some words down the center of my window. For the other peak, I'm gonna do another little insert just like this. I've got this fold in that I'm going to attach to the back valley and then I'm gonna have it open up. And I'm gonna do a flip through for you here in just a minute. But before I do, I wanted to say that if you are live in the chat and participating by chatting with us, this is your participation prize. And I will be giving a link to that in the chat in just a minute. So if you are not in the chat, but you would still like to get that, that will be in a bundle of prizes in the shop. Right now, prize bundle number one is in the shop. So if you missed any of the prizes from the first couple of weeks, those are there now. Prize num bundle number two is what this mini book will be in. Okay, so let's do a flip through of our mini prayer and praise accordion book. You can see I did quite a bit of work without you. A lot of it was very repetitive, so I didn't want to do it on camera, but I did want to show you what I did. So I added some seam binding, which I have linked in the description below as my ties. I typed on that little card. This is our little booklet that we made and I sewed that in with the sewing machine. You can see that down in the valley of that fold. I added a little lace overlay on that page and there's one of my tabs from my new dies that I added. I used the vintage uh, leaf that I've been using in the last two videos and I will link those below as well and this one I added some tool that I layered the words on and I really liked how that looked layered over there's a butterfly I think it's at the end of this one that I really really like the inside I decided to leave blank because that card is just so pretty and then I added some seam binding at the top and a little sequin of this one there's some more there. I love all of these verses so much. It's It just makes my heart feel so good when I go through and read this. And so this is the tag book in the center. You remember we did the ink on this one. And so I added lots and lots of seam binding to it because I just love seam binding. And this is a piece of old ledger that I put the ink and that pearlescent ink on. In the center is the journal card that I turned sideways, and that lady is from one of the prizes that's in the shop now. And then I just left some blank pages because that ink was so, so pretty. 
then this is another one that I attached to the pink. It's just a little, to the peak, I should say. It's just a little scrap of paper, and I added a silk flower. And then I had all this silver ribbon, so I decided to do one of the Lord's attributes on each piece as you flip through. And so you just flip through that silver ribbon and have those. I just glued them on with the art glitter glue, and that's in my Amazon shop if you're not familiar with that. And then at the end, when I where I put King Forever, I found a little glittery K to put there. And then our final signature is the one that I made a flip out. So I used a circle there again, and it's got the little flip out, and I just layered the cross from the kit with some words and some lace and used one of the flashcards that said kingdom there at the end. And then I put some of the words down the center with some sequins. And that is our whole little book. It was really, really fun to make. I really wanna make another one already. And I think you'll enjoy making one. I think you should try one and make sure and tag me on Instagram if you do, I would love to see it. If you liked this video, I think you will love this one. This one is Journal Pocket Filler Ideas, and it has lots of ideas just like what I showed you today, and I will link it at the end. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a week filled with peace and grace, and I will see you next time here on Pink Paper Peppermints.